ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਜਾਓ ਇਸ਼ਾ ਕਿਸਾ ਦਾ ਪੇਪਰ ਬਿੰਦਾਸ ਮੰਮੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਮਿਤ ਜੀ ਸੇ ਬਾਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ very bad ah sorry sorry i thought that was a part of the dialogue <laughs> that was the dialogue <laughs>
you know did fame kind of change all overnight did you understand what was happening with you i think the first thing that uh, hits you is the is the the looks and the oh he's that guy oh he's that guy that's when you start realizing something special is happening that's that's this that step one then you start really enjoying it uh, there is the counter side to it where uh, there have been bullies and all also that have been happen if you're in an all boy school that's going to happen i know teachers have liked me more than others for sure so i i've taken advantage of that as well what's what's important is that the parents have to keep you grounded and that's what happened at my house there was nothing special at home for me the teacher thing like i was never favored mine was the opposite because she does movies so the other kids should get the role <laughs> yeah <laughs> they should get the she main role the then my teacher explained me ki you uh, you get to do movies na so even uh, like mm. other kids want to and uh, even they want to get into the main lead parts and once uh, like there was an uh, incident in mahabaleshwar where someone asked me ki uh, aapke piche wo machine hai kya so that that guy <laughs> actually uh, like he <laughs> wanted to see that machine I had gone back to school, and I this time I told mom that you have to give me money for the canteen. I deserve it. <laughs> I have so, progressed in uh, life. Yes, I have. And I went, and then it was the 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 break, and I went to the canteen, and I'd never made it back to class because uh, the ground floor and the first floor and the second floor, all the mm. classrooms combined, had come and surrounded oh, me completely. Wow. I was I was like okay will I ever be able to get out of this I thought I'd die yeah. <laughs> so you were so, mobbed I was mobbed I was I was I was um, heavily mobbed that's yeah. the madness it felt good I I felt the love it was nice um, my school principal is the reason I'm an actor today oh yeah I was Tell not yes uh, miss kiran bajaj and uh, my my parents were um, so I after my mom told me that you've been selected she said you're not doing it and from my smile i started crying <laughs> and i was like how can you say why did you tell me if you're not going like i'm not going to do it <laughs> and i was like this is not fair i find myself in the principal's cabin and uh, i remember amir uncle had come to school to get special permission for me from for yeah. shooting and stuff i was in the principal's cabin as if i'm a naughty student so i was standing like this and my parents are sitting looking at me I, i'm like this is real yeah. I, i've seen this my principal is like why but and i looked at her and tears have come out of my eyes i have i kid you not khushi like shock tears and she's like yeah it's 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 your i mean uh, it's not necessary that academics have to be the only way if you've got an opportunity why waste it and my parents are also looking in confusion they were like what is happening and i have i fell down of like i i touched her feet and she even provided me like um uh, a tuition teacher who would come on set teach me I used to give my exam so she gave me the permission to not attend school which was good but I had to attend my exams yeah yeah of course yeah. so on set along with the playing cards and stuff there was a tuition teacher who used to be like padhai karo yeah so the I, white shorts where darshil is writing is actually doing his homework <laughs> <laughs> you know that was my next question about managing studies and shoots right um we got a little bit from you I'm going to ask you like how did you manage to kind of be on set study go back to school give exams it was all my parents actually who managed my time quite well and it was, there was like a rule ke vacation mein karna hai bank holiday saturday sunday pe karna hai and i very 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 rarely bunked school except for this one opportunity which was raul dolakia's first film and we shot it in the states so that was a full 45 day break from school so then there is the acha lines kar liye okay now that you know your lines you finish the shoot but when we have a break you come and you finish the workbook whatever textbook all of Did that you as well. find it daunting so it was only for that period actually otherwise things were very very smooth uh, we i've said no to films in fact i said no like i didn't say no but like i couldn't do kalhona ho because uh, i auditioned for uh, atit's part but i couldn't do it because of exams at the time so bunking school was still a thought you can give but bunking exams was a complete no no like there's no way you're repeating a year because you're an actor i didn't find it daunting I I was upset about it definitely but looking 15 years back I think I understand that it has helped me in ways I didn't expect it to so say for example um if I would have not been attending school there would be certain things I wouldn't be able to deal with I think that is the most important thing about a child actor is that you do your education you focus on your education you you give your exams you you attend school also you meet like you keep in touch with your friends and stuff like that because that is important as well it makes you social i mean it makes you less of an introvert you know i know that um, you have a production house right and of course you get a lot of child actors to be on sets do you kind of find a difference between two art functioned back then and today i don't think the set per se is is any different 
back when we were child actors i think the parents were a little different they weren't looking at this as at least mine weren't looking at this as oh now this is something let's plan it out let's make a career out of this i think now things are a little different where it's slightly more planned and a little more uh, uh, there's a little more push from the parents end um as long as it's a healthy push i think it's okay if it goes into it crosses the border into the not so healthy that's when things become a little difficult it's tough to expect them to be all the time for long hours on set as a parent you need to you you can't keep doing that with them every day there's going to be a resentment forming between the parent and child relationship exactly. but do they do those parents have the knowledge to know they're doing that i don't know not everyone is privileged with that knowledge either i remember uh, years later when i was all well into my teens i did a film called sekandar and i was promoting that film on a children's reality show which was very popular where children used to come do comedy skits do and they were so good and there were so many of them so now you're wondering are all of these bunking school because it was in the middle of a work day it was middle of a school day like the, that those are kind of things you're thinking because that's how i was brought up i remember amol gupta sir after the film release uh, announcing that we're going to have kids working only on every saturdays and sundays however long the film shoot takes because that is not taking a toll on the health of the child if there was something you had to tell the kids who are especially the ones who are doing daily soaps right uh, what is the one advice you'd like to give them i can't relate to to what they are doing i don't know how difficult it must be to be constantly working in an environment which is full of adults and then not spending peer time at all if a child is working constantly every day on a set i shudder to think what they'll grow up thinking professional life is because they don't know what a childhood is so in fact i would say to the parents rethink your decision uh, i understand things are easier things are financially great i get that it's not an easy decision to make i was a like a daily soap actor it was not a daily soap it was every friday yeah, but it, was it a worked ha in those days things yeah. were more weekly they were not yes. as daily as they all the children's uh, serial were yes. actually weekly my parents had uh, set the time ki uh, 9 to 7 after 7 no like no shoot at all like really so i mean i've been on a set and i was not shooting that i was on a friend's set and i was like like what you all have that finished is, so yeah. much in like about and that was like a 12 hour 13 12 hour shift, hour shift yeah. and i was like you all are kidding me not even shoot, uh, being in front of camera it's being be, it's waiting to be on camera and even parents should be aware enough okay okay my kids getting you know pressurized and you know is feeling limited when i worked with aran sir it was a very nice environment in the sense that okay parzan and sana are tired now time to stop the shoot let's like call it a night because we had a lot of night shoots as well those can be really taxing on 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 children because you're you you can shoot in the day that's fine but to to stay up all night for the damsharad sequences and for a lot of camp sequences are in the night but uh, always always had a supportive uh, crew behind the camera you know like if i had to jog your memory a little bit and take you back to the shooting of the film um could you share like an interesting or a fun anecdote with charo khan i think we were shooting for pretty woman to uske beech mein there was a break so we were sitting on the bonnet of the car and like there were all, all the dancers were there and i was sitting on the bonnet and uh, he was just telling the dancers ki are do you know who she is and and i was smiling i was like what is he saying and i was very small i was like 6 years old <laughs> so he's like she's a star in india she's the karishma ka karishma i was blushing I was like, <laughs> it was a very nice moment for me he's just magnanimous like that as a person and he he's he's that giving when 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 he's around adults so he's that much more when he's around kids uh, there's a very very uh, uh, exciting moment as a kid when when sharukh khan looks at you asks you your birthday and you know that you sh- you share the same birthday that's like the biggest moment for a 6 year old like oh my god my birthday same as sharukh khan <laughs> so actually he was more like a father fic on set so i was i was also shit scared of him <laughs> because i was like if if i if i go uh, slightly out of the way i know i'm going to get like a shouting but i, I never got shouted i don't remember actually and he has a house in banjgini it's a beautiful place and uh, i'm a gen so he specially prepared gen food for me how nice and then we played cricket how nice in his uh, lawn and he, uh, i'm not i was not great at cricket 
but he took me in his team and i think that is uh, i think that's I, i still feel warm about it i don't think anyone would ever take me in their team <laughs> he took me in his team and, and and as usual i got out on the first ball i'm not making this up he came and he was hitting the ball in the valley like it was and that was all lagan for do you remember being directed by karan johar i don't know i remember this uh, very clearly uh karan sir used to sit in one corner on the set he would have these few papers and he would write something and he would just look into the distance then again right i don't know what he was doing at that time i don't know how films are made so i thought he's writing the story of the film which, <laughs> which is obviously not true but um, years later when i worked with him again as an ad is when i understood uh, he he's very spontaneous which is why his emotions are so true because they're not rehearsed uh, the uh, the heart of the emotions of karan johar films come from him and i saw that because there was an emotional scene uh, that we were shooting in student of the year and he's crying behind the camera watching farida jalal's performance which was so beautiful it was so rare to see i'm like what what's going on that energy with that manifestation and the determination yeah. he was wishing you guys all the best thank you so much thank you so much for making time for coming on you guys and good luck thank you thank you so much Hey, did you know that as a Q insider, you can get an exclusive access to our interviews and also get a sneak peek into whom I'm interviewing next. And that's not all, you can also send in questions for your favorite celebrities. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below and join a fabulous community of members.